it's a very emotional day here at Leicester. I can't believe I did this. But I did. So I had to pick myself up, dust myself off, and move forward, right? Right? That's how you have to do this. Let's roll the intro and move on. Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Club 3, episode 18, Football Manager 21 in our journeyman save. And Robert Cernan is no longer with the club. I have moved him on to Payock in a $13.75 million deal. We make about a million and a half on the move. 48 goals over two seasons. Probably my favorite player of the save, and I've binned him off. <sighs> it was hard, let me tell you. <laughs> I, I agonized over this decision, whether or not to do it. So I bought him at Eintracht Frankfurt, $11.5 million from Schalke. Then I came to Leicester. I immediately bought him. He was our first big signing. 30 goals for us in the league that year. Got us promoted from the championship. Strong season. But remember, he kind of tailed off the second half of the season. I just wasn't seeing the results from him. He was capped out at three stars. And he was he always, even at Frankfurt, he he outperformed his 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 scouting rating and his star rating, right? <sighs> But I really needed to make some moves this year, and he was he was making a half a million because we had had to sign him to a big contract. So he frees up the most salary for us, brings in a good bit of money. But it doesn't mean it's not a bitter pill. Let's jump in and look at the rest of the transfers, get you guys caught up to date on that. Uh, you can see the early... End of season moves, Nagami, Dean Clark going out for combined uh, 49 million, going up to 56 million. Uh, Drazen Kolek going out. Uh, we did end up loaning out El Batabi. I had made the decision that he was going to be my starter this coming season. And then things changed. <laughs> and we'll get into that. So uh, he goes out on loan to get some first uh, team playing time. Uh, we loan out a handful of players here, some of our younger guys. Felix goes out on loan to Everton. There's the Cernan deal. It can go up to 18 and a quarter million. And when I do these sales, there's really not a lot of never, never. Usually it's uh, a couple of installments, two or three installments over a year or a couple of years. And then uh, after like 50 games, you'll get one. I try to stay away from the internationals. I'll leave those if those are like Lanyap. Um, a little something extra is what Lanyat means. Uh, that's a that's a Cajun phrase. Uh, Stigen Hensons, a lot of loan guys. Look at all the guys. Hensons, I I had multiple offers on him, and he even came back and asked for a payoff to offset the loss of income. We gave it to him, and he rejected. I think three moves. So we finally got Sampdoria to take him on loan. They're going to pay us $325,000 a month on his uh, wages. So that's nice. Uh, all these guys are loan guys. So nothing else to see there. And on the incoming side, we looked at some of the younger guys that came in end of season here. All right, we looked at Ramos and Vitor, right? You guys saw them. This is a striker we brought in, $37 million. He is a 20-year-old Frenchman, capped six caps at the U21 level, four goals for the U21 national team, four-star current, five-star potential. And this is basically why I was looking to get rid of a striker. He is a wonder kid. Another wonder kid joins our ranks. 
uh, from France, came up through the Amiens, uh, Amiens uh, system, and we have poached him out for 37 million, 17 goals uh, in League Two last year. I think he's going to be pretty solid. Uh, Ramos, uh, of course, we looked at there. He just looks outstanding. Valued at 50 million already. He's also a wonder kid. Vitor, not a wonder kid, but a left footed uh, left winger. Uh, I think, based on what I've seen so far, he's going to be a reserve, but a lot of potential to grow. Uh, Mark, we looked at Alder Morera. Uh, he came in as a goalkeeper. Uh, he is 25 years old from Cape Verde. 38 caps for his national side. Similar to our departed goalkeepers, uh, but three-star, very solid. And uh, you can see he's played, started four, four reserve appearances for us. Came up through the Braga system, went to West Brom for 450. Dresden brought him a couple of years ago for 1.4, and we pick him up at 775. I think he's going to do okay. Not any worse than anybody that we had. We brought in Phil Hutchinson from Man United on a loan. He's a midfielder. He could play a lot of different roles. Uh, and I was able to get him as a squad player. So I thought that was a good upgrade just to get somebody in, you know, maybe a little bit more of a veteran presence. Uh, Jean-Yer Solis from Huliva, uh, I think. He is on a free uh, 20-year-old Colombian out of contract, they let him go. Three-star current, five-star potential, and I think this is our new starter. I think this is the guy we're going to go with. We're going to try to build him up. Uh, by the way, don't forget, hit the like button, subscribe, all that other stuff. You know what to do. I shouldn't have to tell you, but, you know, it's kind of in my contract with YouTube that I have to tell you that, I think. Um, it's in the Kev contract. Kev told me I had to do that, so I'm doing it. Like, subscribe. You know, hit the bell. Daily football manager content. You know how it goes. <laughs> uh, Javier Gonzalez from Oviedo. He comes in on a free as well. Another goalkeeper, 19-year-old Spaniard. Always the ones you least expect of fighting that are. Uh, just some potential. He's he's going to be uh, on our U23 squad and probably eligible for our U18s as well. Uh, Jasufi from Augsburg, 2.8 million, another midfielder. Uh, he has 11 U21 caps. He's only 19 years old. He's German, five-star potential, another wonder kid. Uh, I'm starting to see a pattern develop. I went, I saw some value wonder kids, and I went after them hard. 2.8 million from Augsburg. Might not quite be good enough to start now, but going to start trying to pump some of these real talented kids into our youth system and have some players that can come in and do the job when needed. Uh, Didi comes in from Levante's B squad, 625,000, uh, right winger, pretty solid, uh, but you know, nothing, nothing outstanding, just depth. He had some talent and we've turned around uh, he not good enough to get a work permit. That's what it was. So we loaned him out to Locomotive Moscow, and they're picking up his salary, so or most of his salary. So I'm okay with that. Uh, this was one Lucas Licka. Love the name. Twenty-seven and a half million. Five caps already for Czechoslovakia. Three and a half star current. Five star potential. Yes, another wonder kid popped up on the radar. Five hundred and three thousand. He's the other reason I had to get rid of Cernan because I needed the half million in cap room. Uh, so 27 and a half came up through the Brno system in Czechoslovakia, went off to Zulta for 75,000. How I didn't see this guy already, but my scouts didn't pick him up. And for those of you that have watched this, you know, I don't scout the world. I, you know, I, I trust on my scouts to bring players. So this guy popped up and I went, oh, yeah, I'll have a little bit of that. So $27.5 million, big outlay of cash, but he looks good. And Decibal Hildon from Puskas Academia for $4 million. Uh, he is Romanian, four caps already at 19 years old. Three and a half star current, five star potential. Broken record, another wonder kid. And they bought him off of Dynamo 
something or other in Romania for 2.9, and we pick him up for four. So if we take a look at the team report, there's what we're looking at in our 343 that we played last year. Now, one of the things that I have also done this year is I have one of the things I've also done this year is I've brought in a new tactic with a three back set because that's what we're playing, but it's going to be with these wing backs. So a little different. Instead of a 3-4-3, three, three, we're dropping one of the midfielders and our number 10 into wing backs. And my hope is that this will be a little more defensive for later in matches when we're trying to maintain a lead. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know what it'll do. Taking a look at the schedule, we rolled through our friendlies pretty easily. Uh, conceded two goals over the six. Uh, we were in America for the preseason, so we played a lot of MLS sides. Uh, we then came back uh, to Europe, and we played Ron, Ren for, and beat them 2-0. Hildon, one of our new players, two goals there. You can, and he scored in three straight games. So he looks to be a solid threat in the air. And that's, you know, that's one of our new center backs. So definitely looks dangerous. Uh, heading is 14, jumping reach is 16. He's 6'4". This might be the first real threat off of headers that we've had uh, for corners and set pieces. So looking forward to that. We're going to play just one match today. There's no highlights. We're opening up with Man United. We've sold just over 31,000 tickets. And I guess let's take a quick look at the season preview. Uh, we are picked 17th, but that will stay up. Um, I'm hoping for a little bit better than that. And, you know, all we're expected is to avoid relegations. Hopefully we can overachieve again this year. All right, we're going to start with, is that who I want in goal? Is that the one that I said? Yes, the Colombian. All right, Solis in goal debuting for us. Licka debuting on the left. I'm also going to change their positions because these guys are not the best passers. Uh, so uh, we're going to make them central defenders on defend, and Fowler will play on cover. We're going to start Wheel on the left, uh, Mensa on the right, Jasufi making his debut in the middle, Romain also in the middle, Ramos making his debut at the number 10, Graves our leading striker, up top and mark for coming in for his debut as well we do have quite a few injuries kevin days out injured for about another week hudgenson of course uh ineligible today playing against his parent club mateus uh coming off an injury in the preseason uh not quite ready for any action pascarello our normal right winger uh is injured he's out for uh six more days uh kowalski's out three more weeks uh, Gerver coming back from his, uh, well, he came back from his broken leg last year or whatever it was he had. Uh, and then he came back and then sprained knee ligaments uh, in an international match. I was not happy. He's out four more weeks. And Carlos Vitor uh, comes back to training tomorrow, so a little off in fitness. So that's the club we're going with. And, of course, you can see Gomez Santos relegated to the bench. We have Rowe and Mikaton on the bench for up top. So no room for Cernan anyway. Uh, so let's get to it. Big day at King Power. Uh, don't forget, we are uh, they are working on plans to build a new stadium. So that'll be interesting. Uh, hold on. Who had the slight injury? Uh, just Sufi, potential thigh injury. He looks like he's doing okay, though. We'll keep an eye on him. <clears throat> Wheel taking the throw. We are a little weak in midfield right now. Mensa, oh, he made a move across the middle and got a shot off. That was a good move by him. I'm really having to kind of consider him this year because Pascarello, even though he's a better player rating wise and, and stuff, Mensa just performed so well. But then when we tried to give him some starts last year, he just seemed to struggle and lack a little of the pizzazz that he had down in the championship. So still, still haven't decided if he's one of those guys that can't make the jump here or not. 
Good little move up the middle there. Encourage him. All right, here's Solus. Uh, oh, good ball. Looks like they play possession. Graves runs it through, and Mark, too heavy a touch. Oh, that should have been a debut goal right there. Brilliant, brilliant play. And looks like we've got a couple of guys that are now nursing injuries. What's wrong with Graves? Graves is a knee injury. All right, we're going to go ahead and pull him off. I'm going to bring Luke Rowe on for him. So there's an early sub and two injuries in the first match of the season. 12 shots for Man United, only seven for us, but we've appeared to be the more dangerous team. And of course, as soon as I say that, they're going to take a crack at goal here. All right, there's Hilden. Mensa slides out to pick up his man. Deflected away. Mensa's on it. The Sufi clears it out. Oh, well, Wheel with the big move gets through, and he takes a crack from range. That was optimistic. Mm. Wheel's tired already. We'll see if he gets any of his fitness. I didn't really pay. I guess I should have paid a little more attention. Oh, there was a nice open header by Maglovsky, but he can't get on the end of it. I tell you what, I don't want to blow that sub yet because I might still have to. Injury is affecting him. All right, we're going to pull him off. Uh, let's move Luke Rowe back to the midfield, and we'll bring on Mikeaton up top. Oh, boy. All right, Wheel's going to have to play, but who are we? We've got Chasson or Esser for him. That's going to likely be the last move we'll be able to make in the game. All right, let's get to it. Yeah, he's already backered again. All right, I'd like to get to about the 65th minute. Can I nurse him through for 10 more? Because normally my third sub, I wouldn't even want to consider until about the 80th minute. All right, we're going to pull him off. Uh, let's bring on Chasson. We haven't had a highlight here in a while, so. All right, some good defense. Oh, Davey just breaks through Licka. Oh, what a save by Solis. Oh, big save to keep it scoreless at nil-nil in the 67th minute. All right, let's encourage him again. Come on, boys. Yeah, I saw him. Mickey is deep into our end. There's a square, and it's an empty netter for Maglovsky. Mensa. Mensa was way off. And it was Hilden that was way over in the center spot. Yeah. Licka was on Henderson, but nobody was on the back door. Ouch. Yeah, I'm going to hang that one on Licka. All right, Chasson. And he throws it right to a red shirt. Check him for colorblindness there, Staff. Bagolovsky, Fowler's on him, good tackle, all ball, Mensa gets to it, big ball up, Mikeaton can't get on it, there's Mark, oh, Ramos cuts through the middle, and our, oh, it went off the post, oh, oh man, that would have been a great debut goal right there. Chasson gets it knocked away. Oh, my goodness. Let's demand more. With this tactic, we're, we're very attacking already, so I don't really need to raise it, I don't think. Here's Mikeaton on the ball. Mark. Oh, it's knocked away. And Mensa should have been all over that ball. And there's one of those plays by him that just make me question whether he can do it at this level.
Come on, defense. Come on. All right, cleared out. Headed on, marks on it. What can he do? He takes us crack, it's saved. It goes up into the stands. We're going to have the corner. Oh, this is the chance. This is a chance for Hilden. Uh, he got there, but it couldn't couldn't get the header on target. Romaine can't get the cross in. I don't know what happened there. Did it go out of bounds? Not sure. Yeah, saw into the box. Nobody's there for him. Good tackle. Ah. Rowe with a decent play there, and Rowe just got stump carded. Well, he didn't. He did not get a card. We're going to lose a tough one here, 1-0. Statistically, yeah, I mean, you know, they were the better side. We had shots, We had, but, you know, they were just better. We're not at full strength. I, I, I'm I, still going to working on figuring out who's going to be our, our guys. I wasn't happy. So they're okay with that. He's all right. Graves is out for a week, so he'll probably miss one match. Hamstring for Jasufi. He'll miss a couple of days. So Lee makes his debut. Bro looks like he's making progress. And we are training him in that central mid. And somebody's looking at Eric Graves. Well, you're gonna have to make a big bid on him, fellas. All right, well, as we talked about last season, uh, six-game home run is over. As we talked about last season, I think we're going to try to power through more seasons here. I was looking at you know both of these. Uh, we're only right around episode 50 on both saves. So just for comparison, uh, Lelujo is past episode 100 on the save he's been doing since the release of since his you know first full uh full release save and i'd be on track for that as well if i was doing every day but being that i'm only doing every other day uh that is affecting my my numbers as far as what i'm able to get out to you guys and we talked about that so what i think we're going to do is i'm going to really power through seasons uh, we are going to jump through and maybe have four to five episodes uh, it, at most. Uh, I don't think we'll do any less. We won't do two or three, but you know we'll do we'll do one here, and then one say maybe early December for the transfer window, and then come back uh, you know sometime in in January or FA Cup period in January uh, and post transfer window. And then end of the season and, you know, have a have a couple deer at the end of the season, depending on what we're playing for. And, yeah, that means we miss a lot. But I just feel that, you know, instead of having eight or nine episodes a season. Um, you know, I've, I've got to I've got to try to get because a lot of a lot of these saves is seeing the progression of your club moving up the table becoming competitive in Europe and to do that we've got to move through seasons and I'd be going through the seasons faster with daily releases but again because we are doing it every other day then the option is is to do less episodes per season that we're covering and try to cover seasons at roughly the same rate so anyway I'm going to kind of sit down look at how many episodes I've been averaging we are going to scale that back. Probably not going to look at the Carabao Cup at all. Uh, we'll be looking for something. If I do come back, I'm thinking late November, or late October, early November at the earliest just to get that run of games. But if I'm doing about seven or eight episodes, then I think we're scaling back to five or six. If I'm doing six, five or six, then you know I think we have to scale back to four to five. But I need to double check my my numbers see how many episodes i am doing a season but if you start noticing as advancing faster that's why it's just to you know because i know you guys want to see the same thing you want to see how we finish up and you want to see the club progressing and competing now in the premier league getting into europe 
and you know all that ha you know we can't do that in the course of one or two or three seasons you know it's going to take multiple seasons multiple transfer windows and again the only way to do that is to crank up the pace here all right guys we'll hit the like button subscribe if you're new don't forget we do have daily football manager content monday through saturday so hit the notification bell for that Thank you so much for your viewing and your subscription and your following and your liking and everything else. You know, you guys just have no idea, to, especially to a small channel, uh, me and, you know, hundreds of other guys out there, uh, how much it means, you know, I, and I don't know if words can ever convey it. So just thank you so much. Have a good one, guys. Bye.